Hi everybody, Dane Hatcher here with Service Thread. I just wanted to give a quick video on sewing with a class seven style sewing machine or just general webbing sewing for anyone new to this. Anytime you sit at a machine, make sure you're wearing safety glasses. You do not want this very large needle to break and go into your eye. Also, sitting at a machine that you haven't used immediately previously, make sure it's off. Make sure the table does not vibrate. The motor can store energy. If you press the pedal and think it's not going to move, it can move and you should have your hand under here. Not a good situation. Anyone new to machines, this is a treadle. Top means go. Bottom means stop. These other pedals, one is for reverse and one is for lifting the feet up depending on which one you want you can set it up either way you can also have the treadle on one side the both pedals on the other side this is also a reverse so you can do it by hand if you want this is how you lift lower the feet now make sure the machine is threaded correctly Make sure the thread is out of the center foot that you're webbing in. You want to hold both top and bottom threads when you're starting a stitch. So hold both of these at about two o'clock. Hold it there for a couple of stitches and then you can let go and continue sewing. Also, you may want to sew a stitch forward and then immediately hit reverse and sew a stitch backward, let go of reverse, and then continue your seam. That's called a lock stitch. That locks in your initial line of sewing so your thread does not come out as easily and seam rip apart. These machines have a very robust feed mechanism. So when you're sewing, you do not have to push or pull material. Let the machine do the work. When you push and pull material, you're adding extra stress to the parts. Extra stress means extra wear. You could also bend the needle. Bending the needle results in the needle striking the plate or something down below. The shuttle race striking the needle and damaging either the needle or both. Needle breaks, etc. Also, Trying to sew a straight line for anyone new to this. I'm not an expert. Keep your hand sort of far back. Look behind the needle where you want the line to go and hold your hand steady. Do not make very quick adjustments. Make gradual adjustments if you need to. After a few minutes, few hours trying small increment changes, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. I hope this helped. Also, one more point, make sure your machine has been oiled before you start sewing, especially new machines. You can check my video out that I previously made for oiling one of these machines. These general tips should help with any industrial style machine. Again, make sure you have safety in mind. Make sure you are not forcing material and make sure the machine was oiled correctly. Thank you for watching.